Hi, I am Matthew Bonhoeff, and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about a paperless office and the challenges that come along with it. You would think into this day, today's day and age, offices and organizations would be at least close to being paperless, but that is not the case. There is still quite a bit of paper that gets consumed by the companies these days. So with that said, I would like to talk about today and give you some important facts about paper usage. These are going to be some interesting facts on how employees consume paper every year and every day in a business. Then I'd like to talk about briefly my introduction when using a paperless environment and my own personal experiences when it comes to a paperless environment. Then I want to talk about what is a paperless office? Some people might not know what a paperless office is, so we'll talk about compare what a traditional office might be to a paperless office. Then we'll talk about version control. When it comes to constantly updating and printing documents, using paperless would help ease the control versions of each updated document. Then we'll talk about the benefits and the impacts when it comes to the organization trying to go paperless and how it benefits with efficiency and environmentally to an organization. And then finally, I'd like to leave up to a conclusion and talk about briefly what we discussed regarding the presentation. With that said, here are some interesting facts about consuming paper. According to the Environmental Paper Network, the average office worker uses about 10,000 sheets of paper a year. That's a lot. Office workers typically use about two pounds of paper every day in the U.S. Not only that, 210 billion sheets of paper are consumed by just faxing alone in the United States every year. And finally, 45% of the paper printed out in the office ends up being thrown away in the recycling bin or the trash at the end of every day. This, this, if you think about it, in contrast, the daily lifespan occurs for every trillion sheets of paper per year worldwide. Now that's a lot of paper to be th printed out and thrown away at the end of the day. Now, when it comes to complexity of modern software and and internet services and hardware, paperless offices seem to be growing quite rapidly. But nowadays, organizations seem like they're constantly always cutting their budgets and reducing their outlets. And one would consider that it is worth converting the work areas into a paperless environment and obtain several benefits, such as the environment, their efficiency, security, and not to mention economical savings. The greener option in the workplace would be to go paperless rather than using reams and reams of paper every day. This will cut down on the overhead expenses. According to the global stewards on creating a paperless office, we, ha we finally have the technology to create paperless offices. At this, at this point, it's a matter of time of embracing the new technology and providing training and encouragement for new business practices without, within the organization. This will save not only money and time, but also improve the security of documents and most importantly, increase the customer's satisfaction. Now you may be wondering, what is a paperless office? Well, let's first off talk about a traditional one. This picture right here is a traditional office. This traditional office has a paper-based filing system, which may include or has a filing cabinet folders, shelves, American fixed system, and a drawing board, all of which require some type of maintenance, and it uses a considerable amount of space, and is a resource intensive items. In contrast though, a paperless office could simply have just a desk, a chair, and a computer. And all that type of information could be stored in a digital form. 
Now the next picture, not really shows a picture of an office, but what could an office desk could possibly look like? In this type of work environment, in which the use of paper could be eliminated or greatly reduced. This is done by converting documents and other papers into a digital format, such as a JPEG or a PDF, and other possible formats that you could save as. Going paperless can also save money, boost productivity, save a considerable amount of space, make documentation and information sharing easier, keep personal information more secure, and not only, and most importantly again, help the environment, not only in an organization, but also in the outside world. The concept can also be extended to communications outside the office, to like external partners. Now if you think about it, modern computer screens make reading less strenuous for the eyes, rather than trying to look at a piece of paper. These types of screens so it could be a tablet or a smartphone, or many other low cost value added features, like video animation, video clips, and full length movies. Many could argue, though, that paper is now obsolete by using this technology, but these would be the people that resist to the technology change and like the paper. Also, an important fact when it comes to a paperless environment new technology such as Voice recognition or speech recognition and speech synthesis could also be used to facilitate the storage of information in a digital format rather than using a paper format. Now, when it comes out to be printing out forms and documents, version control is, comes very important. So using less paper creates a more version control environment. If you think about it, once computer data is printed on a piece of paper, that document is now become out of sync or outdated with the computer database updates. It is more difficult to update in distribution of the changes in a problematic and costly, often resulting in revisions and control problems. Paper is difficult to search and arrange in multiple sort of arrangements, and a similar Paper data stored in multiple locations is often difficult and costly to track down and to update. Further, reusing information becomes more challenging as paper documents are more difficult to sort or organize in multiple ways, and printed files can be easily be lost or damaged. The chances of losing important documents are lower, lower when the documents are scanned electronically. The potential for misfed paper documents is very high when, when trying to read them. But when you do it electronic, using the, filing it in an electronic system saves time and efficiency. According to the paperless project, each misfiled document costs about $125 per sheet. And each lost document costs anywhere from $350 to $700. That is massive. Now, on a paperless office, you would have a single source collection point of a distribution database updates. Also in a paperless office, would use less physical space when bulky file cabinets are eliminated or reduced. If leasing, one can, would consider of going paperless, maybe want to relocate to a smaller area or building, which would save money on a lease. In a paperless office, electronic faxes and an email replace the need to print, mail, ship documents to clients, which reduces the expenses and does lower your investment. And your investment when it comes to spending money on reams of paper. Again, according to the paperless project, companies spend more than about $120 million a year on just printed forms alone, most of which are outdated within three months that they receive them. Now the benefits and impacts on a paperless environment are economical environment and efficiency and security. With economical savings, it's a no-brainer to go paperless. 
one could say is saving money on paper costs and other items such as pens, pencils, filing cabinets, envelopes, so on and so forth would reduce cost. Also reducing costs would be the savings on, by spending on office space thanks to electronic storage. Again, according to the paperless project, a typical employee spends 30 to 40 percent of their time looking for information locked in email and filing cabinets. This average cost is about $20 per month. Very convenient when you're going paperless. Now, when it comes to the environment, one can always save and help save the environment. Let's save a tree, for instance. And let's help save the environment, not only organizationally, but environmentally. Though 80% of the paper now used is now recycled, Reducing one's consumption would greatly benefit the environment, as we talked about before with the facts about using 10,000 sheets of paper a year. Just imagine if we cut down. It's significant. Now when it comes to efficiency, electronic documents are far easier to retrieve and share than trying to figure out where the paper is at and read them. Handling Time is dramatically cut, if you think about it. Staff do not need to print, stamp, or post any daily dozens of documents, whether it's paychecks, going out, or invoices. This all can be sent and filed directly from a computer, which, can, which cuts down the shorter amount of time and when it comes to delivery. Now, ado now adopting to the digital documents makes it easier to standardize forms in works habits throughout the different services or businesses, whether it is a local or international environment. Lastly, security. This is very important when it comes to paperless documents. One might be worried, but let's put your mind at ease. Because the password protections is dedicated servers areas for keeping things private whenever needed. Now if you think about it, the daily backup grants a peace of mind in case there is a computer or network failure. When it comes to it, though, there will be only 24 hours of work to catch up when going paperless, then far, then far better than trying to catch up in your whole lifetime if, a, if the place happens to burn down or the wrong papers are disposed of. This could be very frustrating. Now, I will end you with my conclusion. Transforming an organization into a paperless office entails a continuing tuition within the organization and their employees. Not only will the business need to engage their employees with changing to a paperless environment, but also reaching out to their external partners. By enhancing to a paperless environment, one could have their employees work remotely, offer flexible schedules, and have access to organizational information remoteless to wherever they may be outside the office by processing documents electronically. This will also increase employees' morale and their efficiency within the organization. Separately, external partners may view paperless environments, constructively, environmentally friendly approach, and appreciate the efficiency. And they also possibly would see that this, that, that company is diverse in the latest cutting edge, the cutting edge technology. With that said, I hope you enjoyed my presentation about going paperless. I hope you consider it. I know I will. Thank you.